Greetings audience, I'm Boomstick and today we're talking about the breaking wind again. Specifically, some extra bits and some things that have changed. Now, as you guys have probably already seen in a couple of other reviews, the sniper shell. But one thing you probably haven't seen is the changes they've made to it since Walcom's and Cat Xavier's video. They've now allowed it to be Demolisher Rocket compatible. Now we're going to take this outside later and see how it does. It prints out in two separate pieces. You've got the primary shell, obviously, and the muzzle, which allows you to give it a nice orange tip because when it's in the blaster, with how it sticks out, it's nice to be able to have that orange tip feature. And so I, I really enjoy blasters that give you a separate piece to make specifically orange for safety purposes. I just really enjoy that. I also love how it looks in the Breaking Wind. It literally looks like this is just how it's designed to be. And not just a shell ejecting blaster. So honestly, for pistol rounds, like for distance, this is now amazing. And then for shields and other such things, it's just, that's fantastic. Now the other thing we're going to talk about is the base and the T-pool. Now, these were both designed, I would say, okay. This is a little small. I know I didn't really talk about it much, but it's, it's okay. Not really anything to complain about. Um, one thing to complain about, though, would be that my original plate eventually started cracking. Now, again, my own print tolerances and whatnot, but it is pretty thin, and this cracking is slightly troublesome, and it did make it more tricky to prime. However, they've now fixed that with a much beefier base plate, which I really enjoy. And this, this, this was a nice one to get. And a nice, chunky new way to prime, which I just, I love this new pull thing, words. So they've taken a blaster that already worked really well, and they've just made it that much smoother. One of the nice features that I will say that I'm not using just because I didn't find it necessary is you can put a magnet on the shell that helps lock it in place. I'm not currently using this. I might add it in the future, but it is a nice feature to have so that way you don't have to worry about it ejecting out of the, out of the blaster, which I haven't really had an issue with. I mean, I guess it would be nice to have that extra stability, but overall I don't think it's necessary it's just I guess what you would call nice but enough blabbering let's test the sniper shell and let's test some uh, rockets out So as you've seen for the firing demo, it works really well. The sniper shell is fantastic. Really, really killing it with that power. Getting 150s, 160s, getting 100 foot ranges, it's fantastic. I was blown away by the sniper shell. The demolisher rockets, they fire pretty well as well, honestly. And since you're already using this for multiple other reasons, there's, there's it's just fantastic to have just another way of dealing with shields, special zombies, or whatever else you're fighting against. Again, thoroughly enjoying the new pull method, the b thicker base plate, all of that's very excellent. It's nice to see them still improving upon their original design, and this thing, let's talk about this for a second. 
This shell changes essentially anything that uses Spring Thunder shells is now going to benefit from this sniper shell. Think of the Foam of Nature, the Meeker Spring Thunder shell shell blaster. It's it's this shell right here is so beneficial to the Spring Thunder side of this hobby, and I am I am very blown away with this. And you'll probably see this come up. <laughs> Anytime I f have something that fires Spring Thunder shells, you'll probably see this sniper shell as well because this is impressive, and I <laughs> I am impressed. This has been my somewhat review of upgraded parts for the Breaking Wind. Definitely check out Sea Yard Nerfs Etsy. I'll have links to that down in the description below. It's just so nice to see it constantly improving. And I really hope you guys check them out for more because this is fantastic. If you guys have any thoughts on these upgraded parts, please let me know down in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I've been Boomstick, and I'm out.